In addition to acting as a set of eight envelope generators, or LFOs, Radar has some alternate modes called Quadrature and Octature, where it coordinates sets of four or eight envelopes to overlap and constantly loop together. You can set it up a few different ways. For example, if I put it down into Quadrature mode, you I hear it making some sound. To demonstrate this, I moved Radar over to my big system, so let me explain this patch. What I'm doing is I'm taking four of the direct outputs from the individual harmonics on the verbose harmonic oscillator, the second, fourth, sixth, and eighth harmonics, and I'm patching them into the four inputs on a four-channel voltage-controlled mixer, the verbose scan and pan. Each of these sliders bring up the volumes of each of these harmonics. Second, pan hard left, fourth, sixth, and finally the eighth, pan hard right. But instead of controlling this manually, I'm going to use the radar to control the level of each of those channels, or harmonics. I've got the radar patched through the four channels of my data, so I can see the individual voltage control outputs, and then running that to the voltage control inputs on the scan and pan. To put radar into quadrature or octature modes, you need to look at the system mode switch here, and this optional switch up here. You can go into quadrature mode, where each set of four envelopes are looping as sets. There's an additional switch to say, look, what I really want is four independent envelopes on the top four channels, and then to run in quadrature mode in the bottom. But I'm gonna go ahead and use it in dual quadrature mode as two independent sets of four channels. Quadrature says when the first envelope is one quarter or 90 degrees of the way through its cycle, start the second envelope. When it's one quarter or 90 degrees of the way through its cycle, start the third envelope, and then keep going in an endless circle. In this mode, only channel one and channel five's controls set the shape, attack, and release. For example, a little softer crossfade going on now. And I can play with the shape from either a very exaggerated exponential to a linear envelope. To this inverse shape, almost kind of a reverse envelope sound. And again, I can set the attack and decay release phases to have equal or opposite shapes. This results in sort of a reverse attack sound. I'll go back to something a little bit more linear. A little past linear. And I'll set it back to opposite shapes so I have my more normal envelope shape. Now when you're in the special mode, channels two, three, and four, as well as six, seven, and eight, take on special functions where they can alter the group of four envelopes running together. For example, channel number two becomes a speed control. So if I turn it from off to on, this knob now becomes a master speed. It's not just a matter of balancing off the attack and release times, but I have one knob control. I can go up to audio rates. Or come down quite slow. Now, since special modes like speed take advantage of the shape control, I can also use the CV inputs for shape to control that particular function. In this case for speed, I'll patch in a CV from my levitate into the speed input, and I have external CV control over the overall speed of this envelope. Pull that out for now speed off, and I'll go back to the natural pace dictated by the attack and release times. Now the default mode is to spread out each of those four channels 90 degrees apart. That's where quadrature comes from. But in this mode, there's another special function called gravity, and I'll turn that on. And that basically affects how groups of envelopes are attracted to each other. If I go down to the minimum, the first two channels, the green and blue, happen very close to each other. Then the next one magenta is sometime after, and the next one yellow is even later. And I get some nice little cascading effects that way. I 
go to the other extreme where we crowd together the last couple phases. Again, you can control that with an external control voltage as well. I'll bias it back towards the earlier channels, one and two. Maybe shorten up the attack a little bit. And turn gravity mode back off again. The last special function is called shape delta, how to offset the shape curve of all four of those envelopes. I'm gonna go ahead and go for a longer attack so you'd really hear the effects here. Start with something like a linear envelope as my starting point. Engage shape delta. And now its shape knob affects the shape of four envelopes, but not together. That's what the main control number one does. It offsets them from each other so that the fourth channel has a very different shape than say the first channel. You see where the green channel, the first one's very linear, and we end up with this reverse exponential on the yellow channel, the last one. Let's go ahead and change it to the other end. Now we get progressively more exponential. Until now, the first channel is linear, and the last one has an exaggerated exponential shape. And again, I can change all of them together using the shape control for channel one. And then offset them from each other using shape delta. Combined with gravity, you can have some real fun here. Shorten my attack. Bias gravity back towards the earlier channels. Let's go ahead and change the overall speed a little faster. I can control the first four and the second four channels independently from each other. I can go ahead and just change the attack and release times on channel number five, and you see how the speed of six, seven, eight change as well. Or I can put it into octature mode, where now all eight channels work together. They're 45 degrees apart from each other. Since I'm only listening to the first four, I'm only hearing the first half of this overall cycle. Let's go ahead and disable speed, gravity, and shape delta. And now everyone's controlled from this top channel. And to go back to normal mode, I just exit system mode. Now we're back to being eight independent channels. So if you like complex modulations, this is another capability Radar gives you.